They say when the moon is full, pulling the tide into itself, the ocean bulges, swells a woman's belly and breaks her water. This story begins, like all myths, with a woman's body. And inside her body is the earth, a birth that changes everything. A storm is brewing, a wayward wind kicking up the dust of what was buried. It sounds like a million moving tongues. The women are talking, voices raised in unison to one radical question. What do you want? The answer, a righteous thunder that cracks the shell of secrets, of shame. Call the truth in from the shadows. Give it a name. A tide is turning. And in its wake, the debris of a culture of silence, a movement is born. And it changes everything. Every voice counted, every story sacred. The truth is a bomb and we speak our own healing. Kansime is talking about a baby born on a forest floor under the cover of night with wild animals circling. Catherine knows how a child mothers her own child, how to start over at 19 and reclaim her story for her daughter. Ask Renaz and Zinat about girls with no childhood. Ask Matilda how to chase 10,000, how knowledge returns the girls to their rightful bodies. Ask Halima about loss, or Habiba about the knotted rope of grief, one end tethered to the living, the other held firmly in the hands of the ones we have lost, or my own mother, born between the pew and the pulpit, her mother's water breaking on hollowed ground, one hand raised in worship, the other catching the baby and the blood, praise the woman, the grace and glory of our survival, praise the warriors who keep watch, who have always known to guard our bodies, who learns the currency of no with our first words, praise the chorus of women talking, of women taking after generations of giving our bodies, our voices, our stories, ours and ours alone. We say yes and we are heard. We say no and everything screeches to a halt. Hear us now in the ivory towers, in the boardrooms and the courtrooms, who holds the power? whose hands write the laws that make a prison of our bodies. We undo the chains by the power of our truth telling. And we are not afraid of wanting rest to be kept whole, of kindness in our care, help within our reach and choice without judgment. We have already done the unthinkable, have already dug deep into something as primal as survival in India, Kenya, in Bulgaria, America, in Nigeria, Uganda, all across the globe, the women are talking. How radical it is to listen. How revolutionary it is to answer.